Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. I'm so excited to try out a brow product today. <laughs> and you can tell I only have one of my brows filled in right now. So I'm trying out a brow gel because I like to try brow gels out, especially tinted brow gels. Try them out with my brow filled in with a pencil versus without it. But seriously, look at the difference it makes filling my brow in with a pencil. I will never get over it and how I used to not fill in my brows. I just feel like I look, first of all, like both 10 years younger, but then at the same, same time, like 10 years older without filling my brow. It just does not look right. <laughs> but so the product that I have here is from the brand Bell and Argent, which seems to be a brand that I get a lot of products from in Ipsy. And I actually got this in my January 2022 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which I was really happy with the bag this month. And if you have not seen that unbagging video, it is up on my YouTube channel. And this is the tinted brow gel, the reframing tinted brow gel that I got in the shade Blonde Taupe, which sounds like a perfect shade for my brows, but hopefully it actually is. This retails for $18. It's cruelty free, vegan. And wow, this is probably one of the biggest brow gels that I have. It seems like brow gels always come in the tiniest little packaging. And it says that you can shape, thicken, tint, and groom your brows in a few quick swipes with this gel. The formula is long lasting and dries to a flexible finish that won't flake or get clumpy. That is so key with brow gels because if my brow gel starts crumbling, flaking throughout the day, oh my gosh, I am not going to like it. Also, this packaging is pretty. Okay. This looks like a good wand. I like my brow gel wands to be small and that way I can get more precise and detailed. And you can see what this looks like. It looks like exactly the type of wand that I would want. So first I'm going to go ahead and apply it into the brow without the pencil and we can see the true color of it and see if it really does help to do all of those claims that it made. Wow, first impression is that it actually is really nice. Does a good job of coating all the brow hairs, but it's not very messy, like it's not getting onto the skin. So it is tinting and volumizing the brow hairs for a very natural looking filled in effect. <laughs> And of course, at the front of my brow here, where I actually like don't actually have brow hairs, <laughs> got a little on the skin, but wow, that wipes off very easily. And this actually looks like a perfect shade for me. It's like a golden brown, I would say. It emphasizes the brow hairs to make them look fuller. I just don't have that exact precise shape that I want from my brows. So I feel like I need to fill it in with a pencil. But if you already had the shape that you want from your brows, this would be a great gel to use because it's just going to kind of thicken your brow hairs, make them look more natural, emphasized. So I feel like on top of the pencil, that's gonna look perfect. But alone, I just need more. <laughs> and that's, that's like a personal preference kind of thing. I don't think it has the strongest hold. And also as I'm brushing through it, it actually is kind of crumbling and flaking, even though it claims that it wouldn't. So it's kind of like you can only brush through it a few times and then you have to stop or else it's gonna <laughs> get a little crumbly. So I'm gonna keep that in mind as I go ahead and apply it to the other brow. But I definitely am, am happy with this shade. So now, It is easy to coat all the hairs too with this precise small wand, but here I'm going to try and stop after brushing through this third time because unfortunately it is looking flaky. It immediately looks flaky, which is a bummer because I really like the texture of the way it makes the hair look and the color. But if it's going to be so flaky, it just makes the brows obviously not look natural anymore. It makes it look like there is a powder in my brows and that's not the look I want to go for. So although I like the way it thickens the brow hairs and I really like the shade, 
it just really does not have very much hold. Like the hairs will still come out of place. And as I'm touching it, it's flaking off even more. And those are two qualities that I just will not stand for in my brow gel. So as much as I really wanted to like this and thought that I would, it's too crumbly. It looks like there's so much loose powder in my brows. And I have long brow hairs that I need to keep in place and tame them with a brow gel. And this is not able to do that. So I am bummed. I was expecting to really like this, especially after when I first applied it. I liked how it looked, but it just <laughs> doesn't do what I was hoping for. So if you've tried this, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, but I'd also love to hear what are your favorite brow gels. I personally have had such great luck with the Benefit brow gels, the different ones. I seem to like all of the ones that I've tried so far and also the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gels. I also love those. They are expensive though. So if you have any maybe cheaper drugstore brow gel recommendations, please let me know about those as well in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.